good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, it is a good morning. It is nice, bright, and early. Yeah, we're getting ready to get out of here. So let's get our day started. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So let's come and ride along with the Trucker Rudy Show. <laughs> Virginia, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going through a little bit of a back road up here on US 522 to be exact, just so that way we can get a bit of a shortcut. And uh, well, I guess it is worth it though, taking a little bit of a shortcut. But yeah, we got another six miles and then we'll be on I-70. That's right. But anyways, a little bit of a town. And I like classic old towns, you know, so I figured out, I'll turn on my camera. It's a little foggy out here this morning, but uh, so far we've been able to be safe out here. Right. We still have 400 miles to go till our delivery, but and I got contacted there earlier by a subscriber of mine, and they would like to meet up with me. Let's see if we can make that happen. Just looking at some of these beautiful buildings that they got up here, man. They're I love these old classic buildings, you know, like old good America, that's right. Yep, that's the way a lot of people like it, eh? And I think America is a great place to live in. Pretty sure it is. Definitely got some beautiful countries, uh, uh, countrysides out here, that's for sure. State border ahead. State border ahead. I'm guessing where we'll be entering Pennsylvania. I wouldn't be surprised. Since I know we have to go through Pennsylvania. Yep. But anyways, I figured I'd show you a little bit. Looks like we got a bicycle uh, repair shop right here. Yeah. So let's make our way down towards our delivery. And uh, hey. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey guys, we're here at the Fly and Jay in uh, Breezy Wood, Pennsylvania. We got a great guy over here that's just polished my wheels. So let's have a look. Look at that. Isn't that looking pretty? Ian, just see yourself in there now, eh? Look at that. <laughs> looking real nice and shiny, that's for sure. I think he did a really, really nice job on it. But uh, yeah, he's just about done with it, so then we'll make our way uh, out of here. Hey guys, I just figured I'd show you a little bit of more stuff here. I don't really feel too great today about videotaping. I'm a little pissed off or whatever you want to say, but I hate to show it, but every once in a while it does happen too when I get pissed off. And then I just don't really feel like videotaping anything. And the reason why I'm a little pissed off is because I just got a message from dispatch saying that they booked my appointment in for tomorrow at 10 o'clock they kind of want me to go deliver it I'm like well I'll be there tonight so you know you want me to sit around there to tomorrow till 10 o'clock and then deliver that load and then whatever you know so I don't really like that too much so and, uh, and the load offer it said it was to be delivered today and there was no time given and it didn't say that we needed to make an appointment either. So here I am thinking we're supposed to deliver this today. I'll be there at 6 o'clock tonight. And yet they're saying that I can't get in there till 10 o'clock tomorrow. Like, even if you rescheduled it, why couldn't you make it for 8 o'clock in the morning or something like that, you know? But no, 10 o'clock. That 
just rubs me the wrong way that way, you know. So I kind of told him, I said, I'll be, I'll be dropping it in the yard if you can get it delivered today. And I'll drop it in the yard and you can deliver it yourself tomorrow then. They got, they got day cabs over here that can go to uh, deliver that stuff. So we'll see what they got to say about that. But they don't really care probably don't have any loads there for me so that's probably why they're doing that to me because they just figured they got nothing better to, to do for me tomorrow probably so they're just gonna get me to do some deliveries around town probably and I really feel like doing that but anyways we are in some hot temperatures again it's like 26 celsius right now and to warm up here again as soon as I close that window it's hot in here that's for sure I didn't take the shortcut today I was gonna do it but then I decided not to do it oh there's a flat tire there in the middle of the road I don't want to drive over that flat tire so I guess these guys here they got a flat tire on one of their trucks so kind of pulled her over it looks like yeah but anyways, I was going to say, I was going to take a shortcut here to Pennsylvania, make it up there to Buffalo, but eh, I decided not to do that anyways. But. So we got about an hour further to drive, but it probably would have taken us the same amount of time anyways, even if I took that shortcut, because, you know, a lot of towns to go through and all that stuff, so probably a lot of hills and all that good stuff. Would have probably been beautiful scenery, but... I just didn't feel like it today, so we're taking the interstate today. Looks like we are in a little bit of a construction zone right now on I-79. About 30 more miles to go and then we'll be on I-90. Yeah, looks like right now we'll be in Toronto by 6 o'clock. And then we'll go visit Master Steak again, that's right. Yes, sir, we Bob. We will definitely be doing that. And we do not have a reload yet. Alrighty, guys, here we are coming into Canada, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we are in Fort Erie, Ontario. Yeah, well, we're just about to enter Ontario, so right in the middle of this bridge is where we cross the border. So on one side of the river, is Canada and on the other side is New York the State. To the right on That's Lincoln right. Circle. That boat up there towards the right there in the river is coming down pretty fast there. It's definitely on the Canadian side, so I'm not sure if that's the Coast Guard or who it is, but man, that boat is just giving her. Yeah, it's definitely going fast, that's for sure. But look at the lineup here right now going into New York. Look like a lot of day cabs too there, so these ones are long hauls again, but there was Cross a few the day cabs there. There's actually uh, another day cab right here, a red one here. Not this one here, but the next one here. That's a local delivery truck, so they must be taking it just across the border somewhere and coming back. But anyways, we gotta cut it short here now, so we'll see you on the other side. Well guys, we've been here in Mississauga now for a little bit, and the sun has come out, and we went over there to Master Steak, had a good bite to eat. First we went over there, Flying J had us a shower and all that good stuff, so I know today has not been a good day for me. Very stressful day and stuff like that, so uh, we went through some challenging things today with uh, dispatch and all of that stuff so uh, we'll see how that goes tomorrow but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that everything will go well but uh, yeah that's just the way trucking goes sometimes you know you don't always get along or sometimes you have some disagreements just like you have with your partner or whatever you know or friend or whatever and uh, it's no different over here, you know, any kind of job you have, you're going to have a disagreement every once in a while with uh, with your uh, manager or whatever, you know, so uh, and it was no different here, so we'll see if we can resolve this and uh, move on again, but uh, yeah, can't go into too much of the details there on what went down, but uh, 
anyways we are done for today so I figured well sorry for uh, shorter videos here the last couple of days have just been really shitty for me so hopefully we can start getting back on track and showing you some good footage and having some good videos and stuff like that positive videos like we like to have so with that being said god bless you guys have a good night we'll talk with you guys later it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come